Hello everyone from Asturias, Spain. This is Tony's vegetable garden and we're going to see how to make a raised bed, a ceramic raised bed. And some of you already know what it is from other videos and if not, well, here it is. It's a very comfortable way to plant in the garden. Uh, you will have to bend down less and everything will be like it is in a giant pot. The first thing we're going to do is prepare the soil, so we're going to take a garden spade and we'll remove the soil from the place where we want the raised bed and we'll put the soil aside in a little mountain over here, okay? So the terrain is going to be flat. The next step is will be to start placing the thin hollow bricks in the right place. So we're going to leave a hallway here, let's take a measuring tape, we're going to measure the width of the hallway, it's going to be 70 centimeters or a couple of feet, a bit more, and the bed is going to be about three feet or about one meter wide. So we will use a level to place the hollow brick as leveled as possible and once everything is in place and well measured, we'll drive in the rebars, two on the outside, one on the inside, so the brick is nice and tight. If we see one brick is not perfectly leveled, we can remove some soil from under it. This might look like hard work, but it is very satisfying to see it perfectly straight later on. So we'll keep placing the rebars, two on the outside, one on the inside. Here I have a helper, but she's kind of having trouble removing the soil. and subsequently, just like that. Once half of the raised bed is in place, what we can do is take some manure and spread it on the bottom of the raised bed and from the other side of the raised bed, where we have not removed any soil, we can take soil from there and come and cover the manure with it. So half of the soil we will only be moving once. We take the soil and place it at the beginning of the raised bed, okay? We can loosen it a bit and continue with the process. Some manure for the bottom and soil on top. And this way we'll have a fertilizer that's deep down. The remaining process for the raised bed is just the same thing. In this case, I made an 18 feet long raised bed. Each of these bricks I'm using is one meter long, so it's about six meters. And then 30 centimeters or one feet deep. So remember, two rebars on the outside, one inside, then you cover the bottom part, the lower part with manure, and then soil on top the soil you already removed previously. We keep covering with the soil, we cover the manure, we loosen the soil if necessary. It takes a while, it takes some work, but then later on you're going to be very happy with it. If we need some help or somebody can give us a hand, so even better, of course, always. So we drive some rebar in, then the hollow bricks, then manure and soil, and the raised bed will be complete. This is the end of it, the final part. We remove the soil that's still there. This is usually the hardest thing, the hardest part, because it has to fit perfectly. So it is very straight in the end. Once everything is in place, we keep covering with soil and we have the raised bed complete. If you see some weed in the soil, don't worry, we're going to cover that. We keep putting soil on top 
It's going to rise a bit over the brick, so don't worry about it, because that's going to firm down. So the level is going to be perfect. Once all the soil has been placed, we're going to take the rake, loosening the soil a bit and making it flat. Let's remove some weed or even fairly large rocks. The small rocks, that's not a problem, it's actually good because they're going to help to keep the soil humid, moist. So we have a raised bed, 6 meters or 18 feet long, covered with soil on top, manure at the bottom and with an organic fertilizer. That's it. I'll see you next time from my home in Asturias, Spain. Hasta la próxima, chicos.